can you stand closer? Like that. Or is it too close though? Somebody's gonna point that out, I already know. It's a pimple. It's not herpes. Don't think it's herpes, it's not. I don't get I don't get around like that. Not like that, no, that's dirty. What's up guys, it's Danny, back with another video, trying a new format, I hope I'm not too close to the camera, but I feel like I am, but at the same time I feel like I don't. Anyway, got a new format here, got the ring light set up, and I'm standing up instead of sitting down, so I thought I'd try something new with the green screen in the back. I don't know if I'll use that or not, but anyway, it's a nice clean background. Today's topic, um, we're actually going to be talking about uh, Momokun, also known as Mariah Malad, like everybody's been talking about her, I probably said her last name wrong. but. She's a well-known cosplayer, one of my favorite cosplayers because she's, let's be honest, boys, she's thick, you know. But recently, she's been in the news in a very bad way. And if I feel like if you make it on the Phil DeFranco show, you've messed up, most likely. So <laughs> she's on there. Um, so basically, uh, it turns out when she's at these cons or whatever, she she's known to just grab ass, you know, and. And what I mean by that, she'd be running up on people grabbing their butts, as uh, you've probably seen floating around. Uh, a lot of sexual harassment. She pulled the top down of one other cosplayer or something like that in the bathroom in front of people and exposed her nipple. And <sighs> This video just got demonetized and said the word nipple. But anyway, um, so she kind of made an apology. It was half-assed. It was, it was, she said she was sorry but then she blamed it on her ADHD which offended people who have ADHD which they should be offended because you can't really you can't really blame something like that on that because ADHD does not make you want to grab people without permission um, and if you're a cosplayer you already deal with sexual harassment when you go to these uh, conventions and for a pig cosplayer to be doing this is, is inappropriate it's saddening sickening I guess and it's just not right 2018 2017 was the year of the, the me too movement or whatever so consent is bigger now than ever you know and and to do it anyway kind of jacked up now not not saying she did any of this in 2018 I have no idea when she did all this but I assume it was had to be pretty recent for it to just come out like this and explode, absolutely explode. So, anyway, she made a half half apology, and that didn't fly. So, she's been working on a video for a few days now and cannot seem to make it the way she wants to, or she's stuttering or whatever. She just breaks down. So, she posted a very long Facebook post. I'm just gonna read that. So, if I'm not looking at the screen, it's because I'm looking at this screen. So. Uh, let me just start it off. It says, I've always been an impulsive. Okay, that's already a typo, okay. It says, I've always been an impulsive and because of this, I've gotten into more problems than I can think of. I never do these actions without malicious intent. A lot of the time I have a hard time understanding boundaries with casual friends ver versus very close friend groups where my experiences with them have always been a touchy and close relationship. She's horrible typos in this. She's, she's probably crying while writing this. So there's a lot of typos. I'm just gonna read the way she wrote it, so. Or from the countless experiences done onto myself that I have not realized were sexual assaulting. Within this last year, I've learned so much more about boundaries and consent. From seeing so much in my own close friend group, I believed it to be normal behavior, but it wasn't. And I realized how inappropriate it is to mess around, to be playful, or to touch others without their consent. And no matter if they are male or female. And as a woman, I, would, I should be leading by example, not the one doing it myself. There is no excuses for my actions. See, typo. Not ADHD, not impulsiveness, not anything. As someone who was a victim of sexual assault and rape. Now, see, here's the thing. Before I go on, she just said she didn't realize that um, some of the stuff she's experienced was sexual assaulting. But then she, then she's self-aware, and then she realizes it. So I don't, 
pick, pick a side. As someone who has who was a victim of sexual assault and rape, I am most upset with myself for not realizing this sooner and ha and hate how I fed into such behavior. It's as if I've learned nothing with past scandals, problems, or controversies, but I do learn when my actions are called out, and sometimes I fight it because it is a normal response for me because no one wants to feel like they are wrong or they did something wrong. I can sympathize with that, but I am glad I am able to learn from my mistakes, and I thank you, Al, instead of all, for helping me be better. I do not believe I'm above criticism. I don't think I can say or do whatever I please. It's quite the opposite. I know I can't say or doing a lot. See, more typos. Without everything being looked at and discussed thoroughly. And it comes down to me just being an idiot, an impulsive idiot, and in no way does this excuse my actions uh, in the slightest. I've reached out to the girls I'm affected in this case whom I've made uncomfortable when I should have been someone for them to feel comfortable around. I have apologized and let them know I will be better. I am very thankful for their responses. To the girls or for anyone that matter, I am sorry and thank you for helping me on this path to becoming a better person. I'm so sorry to my fans or anyone for that matter who have felt affected or disappointed about this. I should, know I should know better and I will be better. Because of this, I will be taking a small break from cons I'm losing my voice, I'm sorry. To reflect and truly understand my actions and to give those time to heal from my wrongdoings. I will continue to cosplay and do my work as scheduled, but I will not push, I will not put myself out there while the wound is still fresh. I am losing my voice, guys. It's two in the morning and my voice does this around this time. I don't know why. Anyway, <clears throat> I would like to give the community time to forgive me, if at all. I need to do better from this. I need to do better than this. I know I have a lot of eyes on me and I do not want to be a bad role model. One second. I don't know what's wrong with my voice, but it's... Killed that cranberry juice and that didn't really help, I guess. Whatever. I know I, I, I need to do better than this. I know I have a lot of eyes on me and I do not want to be a bad role model. I do not want to spread a negative narrative. I owe it to my fans, myself, and my friends to be better. Thank this instead of than this. <laughs> More typos. She's probably crying again while she's writing this. Anyway. I know who I am and how much I genuinely love and care about the people in this community. Almost as much as I love cosplay, bad behavior should not go unpunished, and I know this now. I thank all the incredible people who've stood up by my side to offer advice and to keep my mind balanced during these emotional times. Having a support system is very important, and I'm happy to have you all wanting me to be better. Mariah. So, is she in the wrong for doing what she did? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Should she be stoned for it? No, um, you know, she's, she's trying, I think, at this point, you know. First, she kind of just blew it off, and before that, she was ignoring it and deleting comments that people were accusing her of, and she did it, she handled it the wrong way, and I don't think she should be crucified for it, though, um, you know. Um, I've never myself been a victim of sexual assault, so I don't know what that's like. I don't think, though, that... <clears throat> I just think that she's made a mistake and instead of owning up to it, she didn't own up to it and tried to fight it and ignore it. And that was just making it worse. She just dug a deeper hole. But I don't think she should be crucified and and completely like exiled from, from cosplays. What she loves doing is how she makes a living. She's a beautiful girl in my opinion. And um, but you know, that doesn't excuse what she did. I just think that in, in my opinion, I think over time you know, if she's truly learned from this, I don't see what's so wrong about letting her back into the cosplay scene. Now, granted, it just all depends on the public's reaction if she can even, if she's even done well here, which I, in my opinion, it looks like it's a step towards, you know, progress and trying to fix it if you even can. I don't know. She, her career may be ruined forever. I'm just, I'm just one guy just speculating here, making a commentary video. But let me know what you guys think. You know, do you agree with me? Do you think over time she should be forgiven? Or do you think, nope, let's stone her. Exile, send her off, never to come back. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the next video. 
And uh, let me know if you like this format. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I like that I can, you know, stand up behind uh, or in front of green screen and just talk to you guys, camera with ring light. Just really simple setup. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.